think we're live. I'm gonna wait for um, wait for some people to trickle in. I didn't have my start stream shortly looping video going right now. Because every time I have to put those on there, I have to remake them in After Effects. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna jump straight in. I just got stitches out uh, today, so that's why I'm wearing this Band-Aid. Finger is healthy, healing up nicely. Can't surf with it yet, but. I just realized I don't have my mic plug in. One sec. Now you guys should be able to hear me. I did not have my mic plugged in. Rookie mistake right there. All right. Well, welcome to the stream. We are going to design a label for a fictitious coffee, um, coffee can. Uh, I found this awesome mock-up here. This is actually made from uh, Yellow Images. If you're not familiar with Yellow Images, let me just pull them up real quick. They are a sort of like a mock-up resource website. I've used some of their mock-ups in the past. And um, they have a lot of really cool design assets that you can use. So you can go to like object mockups right here. And um, you know, they've got like shirts as a chess piece, I guess. That's probably uh, popular now because of that one new show. What is it called? The Queen's Gambit. But you can come in here and so what, basically these are all like blank sort of slates that you can design on. This looks like a chocolate bar. So you would download this and apply your design on top of that in Photoshop. So they give you the actual layered PSD file and I'll show you. So we're actually going to go with, um, with this right here, sort of like a slim, a can instead of like, um, I was going to do one of these, like this style can, like this LaCroix, but I wanted to do like the skinnier ones. Maybe this is like a latte or something. Um, so, uh, this one, let's see. This is what the file looks like when you download it. So it's a PSD and it has everything kind of extracted. So you've got your label. You'd actually come in here, you have highlights, you have shadows. So you have full control and you have your label color. So I can change this to anything really. Um, but if I double click on this um, smart object here, this is my canvas that I can design on. So just for instance, I'll make a new layer. And let's just give this a fill of like, I don't know, something obnoxious, like hot pink. There we go. And then let's just, just uh, let's just write something on here. I'm just gonna write Barbie, cause this looks like a Barbie pink. And I'm just doing this really quick to kind of show you how this works. Marquito Garcia, thanks for joining the chat. So there's my little sloppy quick design. And then if I save this, see how it applies the Barbie type onto my new design here. And it's got that pink background. So basically you can do whatever you want on that label and it's gonna mock it up professionally for you. So this is a good way to just to present your your concepts if you are doing some packaging design. It looks a lot more professional when you can actually, you know, put it into a real 3D environment. Anyways, we're not gonna we're not gonna design for a Barbie beer. 
or Barbie coffee, sorry. Um, I'm gonna delete all that real quick. And we're gonna come back to this. We're actually gonna jump into Illustrator right now to kind of design our like logo and then like um, our coffee label within Illustrator. And then we're gonna drop that into Photoshop. So let's move over to Illustrator here. And so I don't know if any of you have been to San Diego, but um, that's where I'm from. And there's a lot of cool signs throughout all the different neighborhoods in San Diego. So you've got um, like Hillcrest has a cool sign. North Park has a cool sign. Let me just show you real quick. We're kind of like known for like our neighborhood signs when you drive around to different neighborhoods. And um, like here's here's what it looks like right now. This is like the North Park sign. So, you know, you got this cool like marquee kind of sign right here. Uh, let's see what Mission Hills. Mission Hills is like my favorite one. Just because it's like super geometric and like minimal. I don't know if you can see that, but like, I really love this like, it's just made with basic shapes. So I think for today's stream, I want to recreate this Mission Hills sign. And maybe we make up like a fake like coffee brand, like Mission Hills Coffee Company or something like that. Because I don't know, I just, I really love this mark and I think it'd be kind of fun to make it quickly in Illustrator and then sort of demonstrate how we can make um, an appealing label design for a coffee. Well, a fake coffee really, but. So I'm actually gonna, let's see, I'm gonna copy this. Let me get a large version of this. But yeah, so in San Diego, there's a bunch of different signs. There's like Normal Heights, there's Mission Hills, there's North Park, Hillcrest, um, University Heights. So like, if you ever come to San Diego, make sure you like make it a point to check out all the different neighborhoods because they all have sweet signs like this. All right, so let's see. I just want to bring in an image as reference so I can I can build this um, this graphic. So we'll copy this. And then we'll just paste it in. So And I don't know who the designer of this sign is, but if I find out, I will try to credit him in the comments or her. It's a sweet sign. It's by far my favorite sign out of all the signs in San Diego. What's going on, Mohammed? Thanks for joining. Good to see you again. Okay, so I'm gonna use this as like my reference layer. I'm gonna turn the opacity down a little bit. And I'm just gonna lock this. Oh, and by the way, this canvas size is the same size as my uh, artboard here. So it'll translate pretty perfectly when I go in to um, apply the design. So jumping back to Illustrator. We're gonna just use basic shapes to make this. It doesn't need to be too complicated. Where's everybody tuning in from? So I'm just gonna go to this tool right here, my uh, rectangle tool. And I'm just gonna pick like a bright color just so I can see it on top of this image. And let's just start fleshing out some of the basic shapes. Like look at this, I could just make this part of the H. And then I'm gonna basically duplicate everything to make the rest of these letters because they're all the same height and they're all just basic like triangle, or not triangles, rectangles. So I'm gonna option drag this. This is like our thinner part of our H. I might just duplicate this one and rotate it. I'm holding Alt and Shift to do that. And there's our H. See, it's really simple. Marquito says San Francisco, California. Nice, we got another Californian here. Have you been down to San Diego? There's our I. I'm just gonna bring this one over. It's a little bit taller, so I'm gonna bring it up a little bit. I'm just gonna group this. Since we have another L, I can just alt drag this. 
Let's group all of our letters that have multiple pieces to them. Corey, Corey's from Canton, Ohio. Nice. Welcome, Corey. Okay, so Marquito, you've you've seen some of these signs then if you've been to San Diego. That's awesome. Which is uh which is your favorite out of all the signs? Okay, so it looks like the thickness of this S is the same as the part of this L, so I'm just gonna take this. And then just drag this up about yay high. This isn't like groundbreaking design, by the way, guys. This is just um, basic shapes and tracing, really. I'm doing this to like pay homage to Mission Hills because I love Mission Hills, and they should make a coffee shop. That's uh... actually there's a there's a really good coffee shop called Heartwork down there that um, I really enjoy. I used to go there in the past. So if you're ever in Mission Hills, make sure you check that out. Gas lamp is better, I think. Yeah, gas lamp has a pretty cool, like, old timey looking, looking uh, sign. I believe. I think it's more of like a serif font, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see what that looks like. Gas lamp sign. I forgot about the gas lamp sign. Yeah, it's totally more like old timey and uh. I think of like Haunted Mansion, of like Disney Haunted Mansion for some reason. Or like, I guess like New Orleans, right? That's pretty sweet though. I like that. That's yeah, definitely more intricate. There's a lot more curves happening. And yeah, there's like, it's definitely a serif font. Good call though. And let's drag this up. My favorite thing about Illustrator is just how things snap. It's very, um, very satisfying to design in because you get all those little helpful guides and, and snappiness. So look, we have our hills designed already. Seda B says, hey, I saw your UI UX videos before. Do you still do it or only graph design like this one? Uh, no, I still do um, UI UX. I, I also, I guess I'm just trying to diversify so I don't get bored. I love doing uh, app design and website design, but I like to change things up so it's not, I don't want to be stagnant, you know, like I started in graph design and then I evolved into web design and UI, UX. So this is just some fun stuff for me to kind of sink my teeth in and just, uh, you know, do something different. I, it's just, I would go crazy if I was only ever doing UI, UX stuff. So I got some time for um, holiday break. So I'm just, I'm just trying things out. Uh, all right, so let's just bring this up. And look, we already made this S, so I could just bring it up here. Kind of looks like a five. All right, and then I'm just gonna copy this piece, this little thinner piece, just kind of bring this over. And I think this bottom piece is the same as like the S right here. Seda, where are you, um, where are you tuning in from? And see, so we have this thinner piece from the H, so I'm going to copy this. Bring it over. It's like puzzle pieces, really. All right, the N's and the M are gonna be a little trickier. Let's see what we can do. I might just drag this point down like that.
Solo Tech, do you live stream sketch designs? Not really anymore. I'm, I'm mostly a WXD. Um, I've used Sketch in the past, but as of these days, I've, I've pretty much exclusively use XD. I need the thinner piece. Mac Macaco, Macaco, Macaco. I hope I'm saying that right. How do I make logos from zero? It just comes up, or is there a theory? Um, do you mean like from scratch? Like you make a logo from from nothing? Um, I mean, there's a lot of different methods. I would say um, I just did a live stream actually on on a logo design um, tutorial, but I would say just. The, the biggest thing to keep in mind is like, what does your logo look like when it's really small? Like, what does the app icon look like? What does the favicon version of your logo look like? If it fits into something that's very small and like scaled down and it's pretty simple, um, more often than not, it'll probably work as a logo. Um, I've heard different um, approaches as in, like your logo really doesn't matter that much. It's more about like the I guess like the feeling that it evokes, like it's gonna take time for your logo to catch on for people to like resonate with it. Um, so you don't wanna like bog it down with too many like ornate things. You wanna keep it pretty simple. And then you can have bigger versions of the logo that are applied to like maybe a t-shirt or um, social media or badges and things like that. But your actual little mark needs to be something that is distinguishable and easy to remember and small. Like if you look at the YouTube logo, it's just a little play button. If you look at the Apple logo, it's just the, the Apple. Um, you know, the Nike logo. So there's a lot of like examples out in the world that you are familiar with that work really well. So um, it's just a matter of simplifying and keeping it to the point. But I mean, that's that's probably doesn't really answer your question in a concise way. It's more like it just takes time to learn. Um, I, I would probably watch a lot of videos on logo design specifically. Cause some people think like logo design is like a crazy big t-shirt graphic, but that's more of like a, um, like a version of the logo that can be translated into a more like ornate way. Yeah, Marquito, that's a good point. And should also work in color and black and white. Yep. So like this could technically be a logo, but it wouldn't really fit into like your favicon or like your app icon because it's so wide, right? So maybe you would just take the the M from this, or maybe like I'm I'm planning on doing some palm trees because I'm seeing these palm trees. Maybe the palm tree with like an M and a H or something. Um, so you got to keep that in mind. Good questions though. I wonder if I can borrow anything I made from this N to make the M. Yeah, I think I can. You guys, uh, anybody celebrating Christmas or any other holidays? I think tomorrow's it's tomorrow Christmas Eve. And I'm not a typographer by trade. Um, so th I, I mean, there's way better typographer and lettering artists out there that probably have like a better method for doing stuff like this. But this is just my my workflow. I kind of just hack things together the, as best I can. One of my actual like favorite um, typographers and lettering artists is Jessica Hish. You guys gotta see, um, I'm sure you're all familiar with her, but she's got some amazing, amazing lettering.
All right. That's pretty good. So I'm going to unlock this image here and just delete it. And then let's group the hills. And I'm just going to unite these so it's all kind of one vector. And same with this. And I'm just going to move this to the middle. So it's kind of like more evenly stacked. I don't know why it was... I'm sure there's a reason why they had it left justified like that, but for our label, we're gonna kind of keep it a little tighter and a little bit more centered. And we can get rid of this pink and make, make it black now. This will not be the final color, but... Okay, so real quick, let's copy this and let's paste it into our, our file here. I'm gonna add just like a, to kind of pay homage to the to the sign, it's kind of like a teal turquoise. I think I'm gonna go with that sort of a color as like our, our background. Cause it's kind of like a neon glowing sign at night. Let's paste in our logo or our letter mark. And let's find a color for this. Maybe it's derived from the same, same kind of color a little bit. Let's save that real quick. Let's save the smart object and see what happens when we apply it to the can. It looks pretty sweet. I think it's a little big though. So this is what's cool about these uh, these mockups from yellow images is that you can quickly preview them, preview your designs by just saving, boom. So I like that. I like that it fits the, uh, the like the profile of this uh, can. Yeah, that's cool. So let's see, let's make a little palm tree. I think I'm gonna go with like some kind of um, like line art illustration for this. Some like strokes. Oops, I didn't apply that weight. Oh yeah, I did. Maybe like a 20. Yeah, Christmas Eve is, is here soon. Now there's a ton of different ways you can make palm trees, but I'm trying to think of like a fun, minimal way we can do it. Let's see. I'm gonna grab this lips tool. Let's start from here. Just drag out. Let's get rid of our fill. I'm gonna delete this bottom point. Drag that down to connect. It's kind of a little cutesy palm tree here. Diego says, loving the colors kind of looks futuristic. Thanks, man. It almost reminds me of like, um, like Wizard of Oz, like the Emerald City kind of. Now that I look at it. Funny story, I I heard that um, Wizard of Oz is based, out, based off of Coronado, the Hotel Del Coronado. I don't know if that's for sure true, but that's what somebody told me one time. So let me make a point and see here. There we go. This is a very abstract palm tree.
Let's see what this looks like if I duplicate this, reflect it. So transform, reflect, uh, vertical. Oops. Muhammad says, it's like you did the Muir Woods style. Yeah, man, that I made that a long time ago, the Muir Woods uh, coffee one. That's a throwback. Let's see. Kind of want to put like a, some sort of container on this. Because in that sign, let's pull that sign up again. There's like a lot of geometric shapes behind the sign. Let me see if I can pull up a good photo of it. Okay, here, here's what it looks like in daytime. Let's put this here for reference. So see how there's like um, just a bunch of like, like a grid of squares behind it. I kind of want to play off that a little bit. experiment we either make some magic or I'll make something terrible right now we'll see say we need some like subtext here Mission Hills coffee company should probably increase the font size for a second real quick coffee company Let's see, what do we got for fonts here? I think like a nice like uh, uppercase sans serif will uh, will uh, work here. Fonts take a while. That's the one thing that I still struggle with to this day is picking the right fonts. This kind of works because it's also a little bit scrunched. Kind of feels a little bit retro as well. Could even play around with like I don't know if this is gonna look good but making this like more of a stroke ooh this is kind of cool 
I'll probably have to space out the letters a little bit more. this stroke weight to be the same we'll see we'll see if we like this on the actual can once it's uh once it's done <laughs> let's paste this in just see what we're what we're looking at right now I do like that solid color though. We'll see. We'll see if we uh if this works. Ooh, that looks pretty sweet too though. That's looking pretty interesting. It needs more line work though. We need to do some more stuff. Maybe we can start working with like where the actual type of coffee or whatever it is, you know, it's like, um, let's do, um, iced, I guess it couldn't be iced because it's in a can, right? Fix the two S's in mission. Like you did in hell. Oh, good call. So this is why you guys are here. I made an update to this one, but I didn't make it to those. I feel like that's one of those things where like, you catch something when somebody is like live streaming and they don't do it and it's kind of cringy. You're like, oh my God, I can't believe they didn't, I can't believe they didn't update those other ones. I know that's how I feel when I watch certain things. Good call on that. Good call on that, Muhammad. The horizontal line could probably wrap around the can and work as a divider for another color. Ooh, I like that idea. Yeah, we could do some sort of like two-tone color. So it's like maybe, um, well, let's try it. We can add the color in here. Let me get rid of the stroke. And let's find something similar to what we had. Send it back. Let's duplicate this, bring it down. And then we'll just try like a darker value for now, but we'll revisit that in a minute. And then what was our color value that we had here? Copy this. We're like collaboratively designing here. It's pretty sweet. I love hearing your guys' ideas. Yeah, the other live stream that I did a few days ago, that was something I had designed before. This is something I have not designed, so we're um, we're kind of seeing what we can make. Like I said, we'll either make magic or we'll make we'll make doo doo. You know, it's possible. A lot of times too, it's like helpful to get an initial design down and then step away from it for like a day, come back to it like tomorrow morning or something. And then you're like, what the heck did I make? If you look at it the second time and it's you're feeling good about it, then that's probably you're onto something, you know. 
but um, there's definitely times when you have to scrap an idea or just go a different direction. So this, this would only, if I was doing this for a client, this would be one concept and then I'd probably develop maybe two or three more. Um, Cause then they kind of, those new concepts that you make could maybe inform this one. Maybe there's certain elements that you introduced in the second and third option that might um, make sense for something that you do in this one. Okay, so let's grab this. Uh, let's see, let's do um, cold brew latte. Ooh, I like the R in this font. Let's beef this up a little bit. There's so many things you can do. Basic bold looks good. Let's just say organic cold brew latte. Maybe we go with like a different font for this. So we have something a little bit more, I don't know, like condensed. Yeah, so let's start. Let's continue this like um, this geometric stuff. Let's just play around. This is what I love about stuff like this, like packaging designs, you can just experiment and just kind of flow, get into like a zone. There's no like right or wrong at this stage. It's just, um, it's just like happy trees, you know, like um, Bob Ross, you just kind of got to flow with it and try things out. See what works, see what doesn't work, you know? are a little a little off on the spacing I should have command uh, deed those but it's all good we're just kind of we're playing around here I haven't done anything that is sort of all one color like this or not one color, but like, um, monochromatic, I guess. Not in a while, at least I can't recall anything. That's a lie. I just did, um, Wash hands, drink beer, Elix design that was all monochromatic, so I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, 
Muhammad says you can design some waves down there. Yeah, maybe. I like waves a lot and I use them a lot in designs, but I'm, I'm, I'm wondering if like this needs to be more um, like straight lines to keep some continuity throughout the design. Let's just preview this real quick. Let's copy this and see how it's looking on the um, the actual can. Moment of truth. Wow, that box actually kind of fits nicely there. I think we need to shrink our mission hills though again, right? It's getting a little, uh, it's getting a little, it's kind of bleeding off the edge a little bit too much. Sorry, I'm fixing the light a little bit. So let's shrink this down a little bit more. I'm gonna change my battery on my camera before it dies. Hang tight, guys. Should be coming back on in a second. There we go. All right, cool. Um, so let's see, I shrunk this down a little bit. Let's do like, um, let's put some text up top here. Um, I'm gonna grab this. Actually, it looks kind of cool too, but that might be overkill. And if you get your eye drop, eye dropper, you can sample the same text. Brood in San Diego. Something like that kind of makes it a nice little crown, you know, just keeps um just a nice little element that is a more of a descriptor. Do we think that these wrap off the edge? Solo Tech says, I love Illustrator, but I don't like the subscription model. Yeah, I mean, you can get them in like a pet. Like if you have Creative Cloud, you can just download everything for like, I think it's like one cost a month. Do you always present three concepts for clients, says Diego? Um, it depends, like, it depends on, like, budget and then timing. Sometimes you just don't have time. If they want a, a quick turnaround, I'll just put together, like, one or two and then iterate off those. But I think, like, two to four is, like, the sweet spot. Marquito Garcia says, magic. <laughs> I'm glad you think so. Um, I think it's it's coming together. Some stuff, I'm not in love with the palm tree. I'm gonna have to revisit that. Um, Conrain says, does Adobe XD have a dark mode? I don't think so, but that would be awesome. Kind of like how Illustrator has it. That's probably something that they've heard a lot about and they might be, they might be working on that. I think I want these to kind of continue down as well. All right, so I think I want to preview that again. And yeah, you can download um, this exact mock-up on Yellow Images. I think I put a link 
in my description. Um, or I mean any of their mockups really. This is a, a great resource for professional looking mockups. That's looking pretty sweet. It's a little, I don't know if it needs much more. I kind of want to shrink down the top logo a little bit so it's not too crowded. Let's see. You always got to find that balance of like minimalism versus like, you know, overcrowdedness. Overcrowdedness? I don't even know if that's a word. Let's group this bottom piece. Might shrink it down a tad. Maybe it says like keep refrigerated or something. Keto says, yeah, hierarchy. Yep, it's one of those things you gotta kind of just play around with. It takes time to develop a good eye. And even when you have a good designer's eye, it still takes a while to kind of, for me at least, to fine tune stuff. That's just part of the process, you know? And like I said, I, I might step away from this and then want to tweak things a little bit more, like tomorrow or the next day. But that's what's fun about it, you know, it's a, it's, like I said, it's a process. That looks pretty, that's a, that's a little bit more balanced, I think. I think shrinking down the, um, the top mark makes it feel a little bit more breathable. It's not um, fighting with the Mission Hills Coffee Company mark. Let's see what else. Let's see. This might be a little too crazy if I like bring more lines out here, but we could try it. I need to bring this up a little bit. cool is like you can save this uh, you can save this and keep like different versions of it you know see which one works better compare and contrast maybe add the fluid ounces that's a good idea yeah how many fluid ounces is this size anybody know
I know it's not 12. It's probably like, um, what, like 8 or 9 or something? I'm going to guess 9. Excuse me. divider just because I can it might make more sense to put up here though try something. I don't know if it's going to look good, but let's just see. Looks very similar to a Red Bull can, so I'd say 12 ounces. Yeah, that's what I, I mean. I know that um, like this is a 12 ounce can, so that's why I'm wondering if it's taller and skinnier, does, is it the same ounces? Let's just say like energy drink can. Look at this uh, super fuel I just found. It's pretty sweet. I like their branding. So, okay, what's the size of these? 12, I guess it is 12, yeah. You were right. Um, who was that that said that? Diego, yeah, good call. So let's put 12 in there. I think I like the taller ones more than like the um than this size. Let's see what that looks like. I also want to play around with some other colors just for fun. save there's something there I think it needs a little finessing but I think this is a good start yeah maybe we can like overlay like a some sort of like texture in the background or some subtle I don't know let's see and very well may ruin the design. Let's go to Adobe Stock. Let's search like a palm tree.
See, something like this could be kind of cool is just like some abstract, like you know it's a palm tree texture, but, or a shadow, but we could use it as like an abstract texture. Let's try that. I know, Monster Energy, I can't drink those anymore. Those give me way too much uh, caffeine. Let's drop this in, see how it looks. I'm gonna play with some blending modes here. Kind of hard to see on this, but it's okay. I'm not in love with it. Marquito says, Great tips. Thank you. Gotta go. Happy holidays, and I hope to catch your next tutorial. Thanks, man. Glad you could join the stream. We're almost at, we're almost done here, so. I just want to try a few more. Um, well, let's change the colors on this and see what happens. Let's duplicate this artboard. Let's play around here. Maybe more like... Um, What color are we thinking? Anybody have suggestions? Try to make Mohammed says try to make the triangle bigger. Align with the latte would align with the latte word and the font should be 14 point. Triangle bigger. Alright, let's try it. Yeah, it does feel a little bit better. It was too small. Okay, but what color do we want to do here? Let's do... Um, This could be like a different one. It's like they're, um, what's another like coffee flavor? We do like a vanilla, vanilla, vanilla latte. Design, design to greater crew says, hi, amazing job. Thanks. We're just messing around here. get to see all the uh, boring color choices that first happen when I'm designing I just kind of play around with color sometimes you find some good stuff sometimes you find not good stuff I'm all about like kind of earthier, more muted colors these days. Let's 
see if this is weird. So the text says beachscape, sea foam and sand. We're gonna find out real quick if this looks good or not. Definitely different. See how it translates on the uh, can. I hate it. I like this bottom part. There's something cool about this. I spell vanilla wrong, so that's awesome. But I'm not in love with that. I think the um, this tone feels a lot better, and it feels more true to Mission Hills. But see, that was a fun little exploration and uh, what do other colors look like. There's probably a better combination that I'm not hitting right now, but we're reaching the end of the stream anyways. So I think uh, I think we we made some good uh, good progress. Yeah. I'm gonna let you guys go though. Um, I gotta take my dog out to walk and stuff. And I had a blast. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Um, I'm like I said, I'm trying to do more of these tutorials, uh, more just like live streams where kind of just experiment like we did today. Um, just see what we can come up with with you know within like an hour and a half or something like that. So this is uh, the first of many many streams. Thank you. And, uh